The ocean is changing, faster than we ever expected. And yet every day, scientists, animal care teams, and volunteers are doing something about it. This is Field Notes, a monthly series taking you behind the scenes of the messy, beautiful, vital work of marine conservation at Mystic Aquarium. In the quiet hours before the crowds arrive, a different kind of work begins. The Mystic Aquarium team are collecting blowhole and mouth samples from the beluga whales here. These scientists hope to be able to learn clues as to why cook inlet belugas are on the decline and to inform management decisions for the success of their conservation. It may look simple, but this research is helping unlock a hidden world, the microbiome, a collection of tiny organisms that tell us a lot about an animal's health. We're kind of ground truthing and proving the technique in the smaller whales here. So we're doing these as alternatives to blood. So if you're interested in the health of wild populations as we are, you have to get hands-on. It's very stressful for the animal. Sometimes you can't get hands-on, but you want to kind of understand what's going on with those populations. The blow itself, it'll contain condensed water, lung fluid, cells, proteins, DNA, all that good stuff um, is all in there. As ocean conditions change, these samples are helping paint a fuller picture, one that could inform how we care for belugas in aquariums and in the wild. But while we still know comparatively little about the open ocean, our presence is felt in other ways. To any local, summer in New England looks a lot like this. But hidden in plain sight is a growing threat. Plastic, fishing gear, netting, balloon ribbons. It's all too common along the shores of New England. And for marine animals, it can be deadly. Which is why Mystic Aquarium's animal rescue team is here today looking for any entangled animals that might be out there. Our goal is to not flush a lot of seals into the water and have as minimal disturbance as possible. We're gonna be able to learn so much about not only the seal population, but other species within the local ecosystem here and how the changing water temperatures and a changing ecosystem is directly impacting them. So, it's going to shed a lot of light on what's going on, and so we don't have answers yet, but we'll hopefully get more in the near future and years to come with this project. What's learned here doesn't stay here. It ripples across the coastline, where volunteers comb the sand collecting abandoned trash and plastic. A hopeful sign that we still care about our world. And that the future will be a safer and cleaner place for humans and animals. Next time on Field Notes, a closer look at what penguin poop can tell us about endangered species, and more from the animal rescue team, our scientists and researchers, and the community.